This is the Pinephone Pro Explorer Edition. And this is the hardware keyboard you can buy for it. Let's check it out. Very cool. Oh, it's kind of big. And sure enough, it is a case and a keyboard. It kind of feels like a Nintendo DS or something. Whoa! That's cool. And as I expected, it's using these uh, pogo pins, which come in the back here. It's pretty big. I, I was expecting it to be thumb sized uh because uh i grew up using the like lg envy cell phone where you could just text like crazy with this tiny little keys but they're pretty sizable like after you get used to it like there's a, a little bit of stretch required to get to these but after you get used to this there might not be any fat fingering or it might just be like could you really like qwerty like The keyboard's hard to press with your thumb, so. Um, but let's see, we do not have, with the function keys, we do have arrow keys. Uh, enter, backspace, escape, tab. That looks like a screenshot key. Uh, shift. Tab is very important. Control, alt. We have like F1, F2 by pressing the function here. You can get to your symbols by pressing shift. If you use function and backspace, it's, it deletes function and the arrow keys. Home and end. I kind of like page up, page down, but um, maybe I'll rebind that to something manually. This is what it looks like. And maybe I should give you like a coin or something to compare, but like these are pretty big. They're kind of like the size of a fingertip instead of like a Blackberry keyboard where they're really small and you just have to hit it with the tip of your finger. And these are the pogo pins that are going to hardwire into the back of the phone. I'm gonna turn this off. Maybe you can hot plug it, but just to be safe, I'm gonna turn it off. Shut down. We can start removing the case. There's no like electrical kill switch that kills it if you open the case. There are the pogo pins. And we're off. Nope, wrong way. I've wanted a phone with an external keyboard for a long time. I'm not sure this is designed for what I was thinking, because I was thinking it would be for the phone whip it out while you're texting kind of situation, but this kind of feels like maybe they intended for people to actually like sit down and use it. You can see my, my fingers almost fit on the keyboard. So um, it is plugged in. As you can see, that was super simple to physically attach. Let's turn it on and see how it works if there's any setup required. Don't need to worry about updates. I could type in my code, but I will try it with the keyboard. Okay, maybe I gotta use the actual uh, software keyboard for that. Also, done with the knife, so we don't need this anymore.
And I keep auto rotate off because I don't really like it. But in this case, it might just be a landscape only auto rotate off. So we rotate it. So as you can see, I turned on auto rotate. It, it used the accelerometer to tell that it was turned sideways. And then now I'll just like lock it in landscape. Um, and then that first screen lock might have been because the device wasn't fully powered on yet. So if we have it off, we turn it on and let's just try typing. Nope, doesn't work there. Ah, that time the uh, passcode worked. And let's just try texting. Spacebar is the app for texting. This is my cell phone. So by default, enter didn't send, so I had to click the actual send button there. Um, I tried control send or control enter and that didn't really seem to work either. Maybe function enter. Honestly, pretty quick to pick up. It, it's, it, you could say it's cumbersome, but like a lot of times things are just like difficult to use. Oh, also the on-screen keyboard is showing up, so it's taking up that screen space. So you can see by default, the on-screen keyboard is showing there. Okay, yeah, you can kind of see what I'm typing. So if I type like S, 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 S. Struggling. Okay. Seems to not be working right now. Maybe function enter disabled it or something? Function enter. So this is the disclaimer you get with the phone. Be ready to debug things. So yes, it worked out of the box. Yes, it was super easy to use. It's a little bigger than you might expect if you've used phones with hardware keyboards before, like a Blackberry or something. Um, but, and you might need to do some debugging to get it to work. But this is awesome. Thanks for watching.